Hey everyone, Dr. Luke Peterson here, physical therapist with the Knee Replacement Therapist. For this video, I want to share with you a simple smartphone app that you can use to measure your range of motion in your knee at home. So the name of the app is Orthophysical Light. So O-R-T-H-O-P-H-Y-S-I-C-A-L, all one word, orthophysical, and then the last word is light, L-I-T-E. So what you want to do is go ahead and download the app and open it up once it's downloaded. The first screen you'll come to is a screen that is asking you to register. Uh, asks for a lot of different information, but really for our purposes, all you need to do is fill in the top couple of boxes. So it's your name, an email address, and a password. And after that, it'll just ask you to confirm your password, and then it'll take you to the main menu screen. And the main menu has six different options so you can do profile patients records examination quick test or settings so for our purposes all we really need to do since we're just mostly focusing on the knee and the range of motion of your knee is all you want to do is click on quick test and what will show up is a pop-up screen that gives you the information of how to do the testing of the range of motion so what you want to do is you're going to put the phone on its side so the side of the phone is actually going to go on your leg so the first one is going to be on your thigh so what you want to do before you start the testing is you want to get into the position um, that is going to be measured so if you're laying on your back or you're sitting on the edge of the chair get in that position with your knee bent as far as you can or your knee straightened as far as you can and I like to have a partner or someone help me to do the measurement because then the person who's being measured can stay in that position and not have to kind of reach around and finagle to get the measurements. So having someone who is another person to help you, all they can do is just kind of place the phone and take the measurement easy peasy. But all you're going to do is first get into that position, either all the way bent or all the way straightening, whatever you want to measure. And then you're just going to place the phone on its side on your thigh. So it actually has a little um, circle or image that shows you where the knee should be in relation to the phone. So for the thigh, you want it like this. And then there's the big red button. And all you do is hit snap. And it will record the first one. And then you're going to have to do a second one. Same exact idea, but on the shin now. So then you're just going to go to your shin. Again, there's that image that shows you where to put the phone in relation to your, your knee. Get it in position. Get it parallel with your shin. And then you're just going to hit snap again. And then just like that, it will show up a number and for um, flexion. So for example, this one, even though it was kind of uh, not exact because I moved around, but it had my flexion recorded as 103 degrees. So pretty easy just a quick put, place it on the thigh and hit the button then place it on the shin and hit the button now it will give you a reading in flexion and if you want to do extension all you really have to do is you know just some real pretty simple math so obviously if you do it with the knee straight all the way and if it's zero that means you're um, extension is zero degrees perfectly straight if you get a positive number of flexion then it means you're off from a little bit so for example if you're measuring a straightening or extension and you got um, say you got five degrees so you know you're looking for extension so you're five degrees off from being perfectly straight extension if you were to get a negative number when trying to measure this extension or straightening all that means is you have a little bit of hyperextension in this case. So just a little bit of mental gymnastics if you're measuring extension, but um, fairly straightforward once you kind of get the hang of it and practice it, a practice measuring it a few times. All right, so just wanted to share that with all of you. Really simple app that you can use to measure your range of motion at home. Um, if you're someone who's not a fan of using smartphone apps or not tech savvy you can also you know 
go old school, you can order a goniometer, which is the device that we use in physical therapy a lot of times. You can use a protractor um, and just make the measurements that way. You can also, there's people who are creative and they'll take two pieces of cardboard or two pieces of paper and they'll use that as their little measurement and then they'll compare that to um, with a protractor or whatever it may be and use that as their benchmark. So you can be creative and there's also this option with a smartphone app. There's a couple of other smartphone apps out there. Some of them get a little more complicated because they're more geared to the healthcare professional or personal trainer or whoever it may be. And um, But for our purposes, this app is really good because it lets you do that one thing, measures your knee range of motion, and that's you know the main thing and probably the only thing for a lot of you that you really want to be able to do. So I thought I'd share that with you. Um, a good option for someone who wants to measure their knee bending and knee straightening range of motion at home. Thank you very much and thanks for watching.